Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. Hope you're having a solid start to your week. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Borick. It's a nice sunny day out there today in the Philadelphia area. A little brisk, but sunny as we're doing the grittiest take check-in on the Philadelphia Flyers after a win. Wow! The Flyers finally get a win after 13 games, led by the heroics of Scott Lawton. The bounces were murray and finally bright for the Flyers. Just a month after the holiday season, they haven't won since then. Um, but they were able to get it done here, and they were able to persevere against a team that is in one of the top three places in their division. The LA Kings uh, have 53 points, honestly only one point behind the Anaheim Ducks, and two behind the damn Vegas Golden Knights. They're a very good team this year to be able to end that streak on. A great surprise team. Nobody thought much of the Cali teams coming into this year, not to get too sidetracked on them, but they're all good this year, and the Kings are one of the best up there with the Ducks, and then San Jose is just a solid average team uh, in bet below them, I should say. But when it comes to the Flyers, um, in this game, this looked more like the beginning of uh, the season when the Flyers were able to get goals going. They were just able to find different wills and ways to score. Uh, Jerry Mayhew had a beautiful assist by Rasmus Ristolainen on the backhand. And then there was a nice, beautiful assist in the backhand from the Kings player, Sean Dursey, a great developing defenseman for them that Arvidsson gave him credit for right away, which was great by Victor Arvidsson. So there was two very nice defenseman assists from right-handed defensemen on the backhand, one from Ristolainen to Jerry Mayhew, who's playing fantastic in his call-up. Obviously, I said a couple weeks ago, maybe you would take him out for someone coming up if uh, he doesn't. Uh, start scoring because that's really what you want him to do. Otherwise, he's just kind of a guy uh, flying around out there. But he did start scoring, so now you're definitely not going to take him out because he's a great AHL scorer, and now he's finding the score touch in the NHL. When he's hot, let him just fly. Um, so he's playing well. Uh, Cam Atkinson had a very fortunate goal in his first goal because Giroux cleared it in. It took a great bounce for the Flyers. We haven't said that probably ever this season. It took a great bounce for the Flyers. Atkinson was able to pot that goal. Victor Arvidsson, again, that, that was all Sean Dursey having a great um, assist there. Cam Atkinson then scored shorthanded as the Flyers were able to go up 3-1 to one until Arvidsson scored in a deflection that Arthur Kaliev was able to have a nice shot on net, and then Victor Arvidsson was able to deflect it. And then Anze Kopitar scored late on a weird fluky backhand that it looked like, honestly, I thought initially was saved, but then it ended up getting under and into the twine, and that tied it up before the hero and the man, the myth, the legend of the night, as well as first star of the game with two goals and one assist and the game-winning goal assist, primary assist, Cam Atkinson. Scott Lawton was the hero with the goal after Atkinson, who almost got a goal again, shot it on net. He got the rebound, potted it in, and the Flyers, as Jim Jackson said in the broadcast, wait for it, win a game, and were able to actually end this losing streak. Now, do I think, uh, by, by the point of where uh, th 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 this team is now, do I think they're going to be able to recover to do anything? No, they put themselves in a way too damning of a spot, that that's for sure, they're in at least a retool mode, um, but it's good to finally end the losing streak, that's the positive, that's a great glass half full thing, finally end this losing streak, do I think we're going to have a bunch of wins in baskets come going forward, no, that would be great to see, but that just doesn't seem like that's obviously what this team is this year, but we ended the losing streak, Scott Lawton's a player of the game, second star of the game, uh, getting the game winning goal, I think you have to give Cam the first star, he had two goals, and the game winning assist, and then Jerry Mayhew for just continuing to provide that spark, at first, like I said, he was just kind of a guy flying around there providing energy, like you don't see the guys skating to that level when we were on this losing streak, and he provided that just energizer to a lesser degree Pitlick style, but now he got on a on a scoring uh, trend to get to his three goals, so if he can start providing good third-line offense, that would be nice and a plus as maybe a late bloomer NHL or for a guy that's been a great star in the or NHL, or excuse me, for a guy that's been a great star in the AHL and an MVP at that level as well his entire career. 
But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been the latest edition of the Grittiest Take as we check in on the winning Philadelphia Flyers after losing 13 straight. They beat a good team in the LA Kings. They will take on the Winnipeg Jets tomorrow, the Detroit Red Wings on Thursday, or on Wednesday, excuse me, and on Saturday, which is a 12 noon game in Hockey Town in Detroit. Stay safe out there, everybody. Please do subscribe down below or up above on the easy to use widget to help us get to 200 by the end of February. Enjoy the hockey, everybody. Peace out.